received by the bell. There's Ringo and the there's Ringo and the reaction of the crowd speaks for itself. Sure. Ponderous, some call him crude as a fighter, but powerful. Good enough to have fought 25 rounds against Joe Frazier. Lost two decisions, a 10-rounder and a 15-rounder, the second for the heavyweight championship of the world, but never knocked down. He knocked Frazier down twice in the second round of their first fight, a split decision, disputed decision. Now, just rejoining me from our introduction at the top of the show, my good friend, and as I characterized him at the top, perhaps the most interested party within the arena, Yancey Yank Durham, the manager of Joe Frazier, who looks forward to a potential $10 million gate against Muhammad Ali if Ali should win this fight tonight. But I was just talking, Yank, about the toughness of Bonavina as an opponent. Do you agree? Yes, he is one about the toughest heavyweight we have around today. And I'm satisfied he's going to give Frey a lot of trouble out there tonight. Well, in fairness to uh, Ali, he gave your fighter, Frazier, a lot of trouble. Yes, that is true. He gave me an awful lot of trouble. I fought him 25 rounds. And uh, I thought, sure, we could knock him out. But uh, after the 12th round and the 15-round fight with him, he gave me an awful lot of trouble. Bonavina, according to Gil Clancy, who, as I mentioned, is working with Oscar tonight, will try to make a brawl out of this. A street fight with Clancy's exact words. He'll probably try and cut the ring in half. Ali circles constantly to the left, as all of you veteran boxing fans know. And Bonavina will probably go straight at him, veering slightly to the right to cut off the circling to the left. Crowd roars now as Muhammad Ali comes down the aisle. A man who has evoked all kinds of passion against and for. The whole history written now. April 28, 1967, Houston, Texas refused military induction in the courts ever since. Ali, for those of you watching in the red robe, Bonavina in what might best be called an aqua robe. Ali, who knows that he's got a lot to prove. The crowd reacts as he shows that swiftness of hands that was the inevitable yardstick of the old Ali. The questions now are self-evident. Is Bonavina really a testing opponent, in spite of what Yancey and I have said? Or will he be a soft touch for Ali? Next question. How much of what once he was is he now? How much does he have left from the obviously great fighter that he was four years ago? How much in the way of speed? And how much in the way of stamina? Jerry Quarry, the cut eye, it went only three rounds. And so, some still find Ali suspect in terms of stamina. Certainly this fight should answer that since Bonavena is so tough to knock out. Ali has said he'll do him in nine. In nine, he'll be mine. Well, he used to be accurate with his prognostications, but whether or not that accuracy still obtains is another matter to be determined. As we look at Ali, and if we can get down to his shoes, you'll find a new twist tonight. He is wearing red tassels on his shoes. And should he employ the Ali Shuffle, see them there? Should he employ the Ali Shuffle, it'll be a very interesting vision to see. Now, Johnny Addy with the announcement. Assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission, the judges, Joe Eppy and Jack Gordon, the timekeeper, Fred Abatello, counting for the knockdowns, referee Zach Clayton, referee for the main event, Mark Kahn. Mark Kahn, perhaps the most veteran referee in point of service assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. Very few people have quarreled in the past with Kahn as a referee. He has a disposition, by the way, to let a fight go on. He's not quick to stop a fight when a fighter is damaged. Now, let's see when the two come up for the ring instructions from the referee, if they talk. Because today, before the weigh-in, Ed Dooley, the chairman of the New York State Athletic Commission, said, 
any reprehensible talk, any invective, any abuse, $5,000 fine against each fighter. Introducing from South America, he's wearing blue trunks, he weighs 204, the heavyweight champion of South America, Oscar Ringo Bonavena. His opponent from Louisville, Kentucky, he's wearing red trunks, he weighs 212 pounds, return of the champion, Muhammad Ali. There's the familiar shuffle step. Main event, 15 miles. And in this arena, at least at this moment, he returns a popular man. But that's in this arena. We have nearly 19,000 people here tonight. Big, big crowd for what Johnny Addy just called the return of the champion. Let's listen to Mark Hunt. Let's listen. There he is talking. Do not hold with one hand and hit with the other. Is that clear? When I see you left in a clinch, I'll tell you to break. I want both of All he can say, based upon the commissioner's ruling today, is you're in for a tough night. I'm going to beat you up good. I'm going to whoop you. I'm going to cut you up. If he deviated from that, he's subject to a $5,000 fine. of round one. Watch Ali as he circles steadily to the left. Watch Bonavina try and cut the ring on him. Right in half, going right at him. He'll work hard to Ali's midsection if he can. Ali will use the left jabs, counting on the swiftness. a brawler Bonavina occasionally under strategies taught to him by Clancy he'll try to retreat to a corner or Ali in and then go right to that midsection if he can claiming that Ali shoved him down. Ringo in the blue trunks with the red waistband, Ali in the red trunks with the white waistband and white side trim. See Ringo's name on his pants. We're coming up to the two minute mark in round one. Bonavina is connected on Ali's right jaw. This is not picture fighting such as Ali is used to. It's not easy against Bonavina. Look at that. This is like an alley brawl as far as Oscar's concerned. Twenty seconds to go in the first round. And no sign yet of the Ali skills, really, against this kind of fight. The old Ali skills. Another warning from Mark Gunn and a stern one. 
the end of round one. Yank Durham. As we go to Bonavina's corner with the crowd yelling for and against Oscar and for his tactics in that first round. Your view of it, if you will, Yank. Well, I think Bonavina got the best of play there in exchange. He came out moving around, but Clay, he definitely don't have what he had before. I can see that now. It's no problem in my mind that it'd be an easy fight for me. And uh, Clay is in for a, a rough night. They both are using tactics there, a little rough tactic there. Clay is pushing and shoving. Yank, let's watch this in slow motion. We're going to see the slip. There it is. Pushed him. That's when Ringo got up and claimed that Ali pushed him down. Well, there's no doubt in my mind. live action. You fell, he pushed him down. He did push him down. Yeah, that was a push. You're not guilty of bias because you're Frazier's uh, head. No, it isn't that. I actually saw the push there. All right, we are eight, await the start of round two. Now let's see if Ali can get some of that old Ali movement in as we start round two. First fight I ever saw Bonavina fight, and it was made that way for him by Jimmy Ellis, was against Jimmy Ellis in early December of 1967 during the WBA Elimination Tournament when Ellis clawed him twice. Bonavina was very effective against Mildenberger, the German southpaw, over in Frankfurt, West Germany. Bonavina is in the center of that ring. He's cutting the ring on Ali. And oddly, I don't see Ali circling with the steadiness and swiftness to the left. That's his usual landmark. Surprising absence of movement in Ali. Up to this point, the fight is very young. Nancy Durham is keeping an unofficial scorecard on the fight for this reporter as he views it. Yank, of course, Frazier's manager sitting next to me at ringside. This fight has been taking place largely in ring center, and this is not the uh, usual Ali style at all, as it used to exist, and even as it was when he came out so swiftly in round one against Jerry Quarry in Atlanta, Georgia, some six weeks ago. as you have seen with the edge in this round I would suspect going to Ali Bonavina not throwing much luck of round two. Let's follow Muhammad Ali to his corner. Very, very odd so far, it seems to me. Yancey Durham, as we look at Muhammad in his corner, how do you account for the relative absence of movement and swiftness so far? Well, as I said, if a Bonavina proud play, play doesn't have the movement, he knows he's in there for a tough fight, and Bonavina's fighting a fight that I thought he would fight, he just need to pick up his feet a little bit more, and I think Clay's going to be in serious trouble standing still like he is. He's not impressive tonight at all with his moving, and he's afraid to move because Clay's beginning to he's worried a little bit. Well, let's watch this. So we're watching in slow motion now, and as Muhammad comes over, a wave of disgust with Bonavina, apparently, or maybe with himself. As that round ended, we're close to the start of round three. 
looking at Oscar as he comes out to face Ali. He'll be nine and mine, Ali said. Well, we'll see. Perhaps you hear Drew Brown Bundini, one of the retinue in Ali's corner, yelling, stick him, stick him, stick him, Dolly, meaning, of course, keep that left out there while you're boxing. Again, the astonishing thing here is the relative absence of movement. Pushed by Ali against Bonavina. Ah, good combination. The left and then the right. Ah, opening up a bit. Bonavina trying to get to the inside always, as you can see, seeking to maul and draw. Good combination. This is the first sign of Muhammad Ali as we used to know him. The quick hands in there again. Four combinations in this round all connect. Left and the right, the straight, sharp right. Bonavina, I repeat, does not cut easily. Saw Ali just throw his right hand up, almost, I suspect, in his mind, in contempt. But one can't truly really read his mind. Again, the clock winds down toward the end of round three. The first round in which there's been any real punch by Muhammad Ali. fighting in the classical sense, and we're not going to disguise it. A left by Bonavina. <laughs> and Ali says to him as the round ends, come on. Now Clancy is yelling to referee Mark Khan, claiming that Ali was hitting illegally behind the head, behind the ear. In the meantime, in the wake of what Ali did in that third round, Yancey, when he had those four quick combinations that stung Bonavina, I have to wonder, is he laying back? Is he toying with him? What's your view? I don't think he's toying with Bonavini. He's trying to fight, figure out what Bonavini is doing. And Bonavini is fighting right. Play is a little rough. He's pushing the guy, which he shouldn't be doing. The referee should warn Clear about pushing the guy. Also, uh, uh, they should warn Bonavini, hit him a couple of low blows there. Clay is not apt to talk as much as he said he was going to talk. But he got off some very good combination. All right. We were just over in Bonavini's corner. There's the. Warning signal, 10 seconds for round four. And round four. Ali in the red trunks, white trim. Ringo in the blue trunks, red trim. Name emblazoned on the trunks. Ringo, Oddly, a throwback to the wild bull of the Pampas, Louis Firpo in the 20s in terms of style, but still a powerful, powerful man. He's coming after Ali now. Gab all night long, Drew Brown Bonzini just said. No words from Angelo Dundee in Ali's corner. Missing with the left. 
left as Ali ducked. Cumbersome, ponderous, but the aggressive. And where is that Ali movement? Ali holding on. Where is that circling? Where is that boxing? Where is the speed of hands? One wonders if Ali is hurt. what's happening and I don't think he's clowning or faking now this is hard to tell when you've been around the man as long as I have but one thing is sure he hasn't looked this badly since he fought Mildenberger in Frankfurt when he had troubles with a southpaw Strange thing to see, ladies and gentlemen. You've not seen Ali like this before. The end of round four. Let's, we're on Ali now, trying to see if anything is wrong with him. I'll tell you, Dundee's concerned. Come on, he's saying. Fight. All right, here's the first Bonavina punch in slow motion. Watch this. No, in truth, we didn't see too much there, but now coming back. I get the feeling that Ali's forehead, I saw them working on it during the between rounds period, has been scruffed up quite a bit. Now let's see if he engenders any movement. Quickly, Bonavina, Adam. a little and moving a little more. In some ways, this is a reminder of the fight in Toronto in 66 when Shabala won 15 rounds with Ali, boring in on him, roughing him, scruffing him. But always, Ali was in command in that fight. I think a test of Ali's stamina tonight, that's for sure. up above his head, his gloves. We've got a minute to go in this the fifth round. Ali in the red trunks, another warning from Mark on the Bonavina. He kind of laughs derisively and disgustedly at the same time. I 
don't know what's wrong here based upon what people expected, but Ali simply does not look good, even if he's ahead on points. Well, he predicted the ninth round. Maybe that's his ploy, but he's going to have to prove it. And the way Bonavina, with that awkward style, with that great strength, is pushing him around this ring. I don't know. Let's watch. That's the end of round five. Yancey, your appraisal of this fight up thus far. Well, up at this present time, I mean, I'm a little afraid for Clay because Bonavina is going to get strong. Will Clay pick up in his speed here? What is he doing? His diaphragm, I see he's breathing pretty hard over there. I don't think Clay can stand this pace. All right, Yancey, we'll watch. Meantime, I'm hopeful that coming up in slow motion, we can have that missed wild punch by Oscar. It's another index to the unorthodox style he has. And yet you always have to worry about it. And he seems impervious to punishment himself. Although Ali, except for the third round, hasn't been doing much punishing. Well, you saw it there, the missed punch. Now we're back live. Clancy talking to Bonavina. Through all the years, Clancy has had a very great respect for Ali as a fighter, but has always felt that there was a way to fight him, and has always felt that Bonavina was the way. Now you see Ali dance. Crowd here tonight, 19,000. Oh! You saw that! That left! And that landed! These are now wary, Ali, you better believe. 19,417 people here tonight, paying $615,401. Quite a house for the return of the now deposed champion. Up in Monticello, New York, Joe Frazier is watching this fight. Up to this point, there has to be, if he's human, a kind of grin on his face. He had his own troubles with Bonavina. got him in the corner. Did no damage, but still pursued him in corners. Ali fought his way out. A left by Ali. crowd picking up the chant for Ringo now and I have just talked with Angie Dundee and he indicates he doesn't know what's going on in that ring he doesn't know what's wrong with his fighter is the sixth round. It's almost over. And Bonavina hasn't been taught a lesson yet, that's for sure. A left by Oscar. And Ali is backing off, moving away. Now holding on. And the clock is running out for round six. There it is. And a seemingly tired Ali goes back to his corner. Yancey, if you had to score this fight up to now, now you're looking at Oscar, whom would you have ahead? Well, at the present time, I got Clay ahead, but Oscar's coming on strong. You do have Ali ahead. I have him ahead. 
But uh, I think I have a clay of three, one even in and two with Bonavina. Bonavina applying the pressure. He's got to whip clay. I can't see any other way. Clay got to get over. He's lucky. The words of Yancey Durham, our ringside compatriot, the manager of Joe Frazier. You see Ali talking back to Angie, who has already confessed that he doesn't really know what's happening in there with his fighter. Now let's look at this in slow motion where Bonavina comes in with a good one. There it is. That one connected. All right, rounds. Round seven. to look for is movement in Ali unless he can find movement and withstand the Argentinian's rushes you saw left to Bonavina's face there Mundini is screaming from his corner almost pleadingly the heavy bag calling Bonavina the heavy bag punching like he's a heavy bag round of this fight did we see evidences of the Muhammad Ali that used to be four times he struck with rapid combinations he did no material damage but the swiftness of the hands was there apart from that even if he is ahead in the scoring at the moment which is possible he has been but the palest replica of the great fighter of four years ago points in this round that too is evident Keep moving. that blazed and really missed that left by Bonavina <laughs> round seven about to run out Ali must put him away in nine to make his prediction stick as round seven ends. Now Ali is the recipient of booze from the crowd that cheered him as he entered the ring tonight. He sits in his corner now over to Ringo, who indeed appears livelier. Yancey Durham. I think we'd have to agree Ali scored on points in that round. Yes, he did a wonderful job there, but you can still see that Clay is down on his feet now, on his heel, and Bonavina is going to get to him a little faster now. Clay is not up on his toes like he used to be. And definitely, he was inverted around, he was up on his toe, but now I can see that he's coming down flat. The bell for round eight. Mark Conn, the referee. Ringo in the blue with his name on his pants. Ali in the red. This was the fight where Ali was going to keep talking to Ringo throughout the fight and telling him what he was going to do to him. 
but there has been no talk. And the reason is clear. Now Ringo comes out and strong. Of course, the commissioner ordered no talk in terms of invective, personal abuse. But Ali, the commissioner said, could tell him what he wanted to tell him. I'm gonna whoop you, I'm gonna beat you. But there's been none of that. Nor have we seen the Ali shuffle with the tassel. There is a little blood from Bonavina's right nostril. The quick left apparently opened it. Nobody will ever take boxing lessons from Bonavina, but I'll tell you, he's tough. We're in round eight. We're a little past a minute and a half into round eight. Round nine was supposed to be the culminating round. Unless Ali has been holding back all fight long, it doesn't seem remotely possible. Knockouts professionally, that has never been beaten. Bonavina, 46 wins, five losses, one draw. We're coming to the end of round eight. There's little action in this round. That's a good left. Good left by Bonavina as round eight ended. And we go back to Ali's corner. Seems a tired man. There's his record spelled out for you, as just stated. Dundee slapping his thighs. Now they're working on his stomach. Now let's watch that last blow of Bonavina's in slow motion. There's a right that would be to the back of the head, and there's the left. That's the one that got in there. All right, Yancey, this is the prediction round. Do you see any hope? No, I do not, Howell. I don't see no way in the world he'd be able to stop Bonavina in the ninth round. Uh, he does not have the power there. Bonavina's getting strong, and he can play seems again weak. But the crowd is alive. They know about the prediction. Now they want to see if he can make it stick. Stick, if he's been holding back. Slip. Slip, no knockdown, slip. Mark Khan right on it. Crowd misled, don't you viewers be misled. Bonavina all over. Marlin holding, pushing. 
A left by Bonavina, and it connected, believe me. There it is. Bonavina holding on. Crowd alive for a change. And what has been a most sluggish performance by Muhammad Ali. Bonavina holding on. A minute 45 gone in round nine. Crowd exhorting Ali on. Bonavina fighting back. Ali raining punches upon him. One minute left. No knockdown, no knockdown, no knockdown. Slip and a push by Ali. Now the two are going at it. 45 seconds left. Bonavina staggering, flying a left at Ali. The eye is cut. There's blood out of the left eye of Bonavina. Ali trying to make his prediction stick. He's chopping at him with the left. A good left by Bonavina in retaliation. Ali holding on, Ali tired. 20 seconds left in round nine, and Bonavina's gonna last this round. Bonavina coming into Ali. A tough, tough fighter, Oscar Bonavina, as the round ends, and the prediction fails. But Bonavina's a very strong fighter, and he hurt Clay the last part of that round. He certainly did. A remarkable comeback because Bonavina was in real trouble, you he must admit. He was in serious trouble there. Here's but the playback on that right now, Yancey. Take a look at it. That was the slip and push combined. Mark Khan rightfully said no knockdown. Now you see Ali raining punches at Bonavina, but watch this. There it is. Oh, there That's it is. the left that turned it around in the final 40 seconds of the round that brought Bonavina back to life. That forestalled the prediction of a ninth round knockout. A warning signal as we continue to watch. Now we're back to live action. And this crowd has come alive. Round 10. Rising fight, ladies and gentlemen, to most people. Muhammad Ali, a six to one favorite. The memories of four years ago, vivid. The quickness, especially in the first round against Jerry Quarry in Atlanta, vivid. But not generally speaking on display tonight. A desperate effort to knock Bonavina out in round nine, the prediction round. Close to success, apparently. And then suddenly, with 40 seconds left, Bonavina scored and became the aggressor. This then is round 10. I want to call you in, Yancey, as we watch the action. Yancey Durham, Joe Frazier's manager. At this moment, you change your prediction. Do you think Ali will win or Bonavina? Well, I still think Clay's a little ahead, but it's pretty close at this point, Howard. And if uh, Clay doesn't watch himself, Bonavina's getting much stronger, and he might upset Clay very much. But I give Clay a little edge right now at this point. Steadily by Bonavina. He's in a crouch, almost on the floor. We're coming up to one minute left in round 10. And then suddenly, he leaps up at Ali. And sooner or later connects with one of those wild left hooks. And they hurt from a man so strong. Where is the old head slipping of punches? Where is the backup 
with the stomach apparently exposed, but not there. Where is that movement? Around and around, always to the left. A rapier-like left jab. You saw two lefts then by Ali, but hardly of the old stand. This is not to derogate him in any sense. The man's been away for four years. The miracle was that he came back so quickly and lost so much weight so quickly. Any student of boxing must be aware of these facts. Any athlete away four years, and this is not to make excuses for him, either, has to have lost something, it seems to this report. That's the end of round 10. We look at Ali in his corner. Angie Dundee above him. One must wonder, Yancey, Yancey Durham, is Muhammad now thinking as we look over at Ringo in his corner? Is Ali thinking now about the crowd, the publicity, the people, the prediction, the failure to execute the prediction? Well, he had missed this prediction, and no doubt in my mind, he's a worried fight at this point. And uh, he's trying to figure out what can he do to stop Bonavina. Bonavina backed away from him, gave him a chance to come after him. He couldn't take advantage of that. Then Bonavina started chasing him again. And all, all Bonavina had to do now is start to keep applying the pressure for the next five rounds. All right, let's see if Bonavina can do that. This is Bonavina's prediction round. He said he'll knock out Ali in round 11. Cut in half all night by Bonavina. Right in the middle. I don't know whether it's Bonavina's awkward style. Crowd misled there. Those punches were not landed upon Ali. They hit the glove and the shoulder. No damage there. That right hurt. Bonavina got in a good right to the left jaw of Muhammad Ali. Minute and a half. Even though Ali has been away for so long, it has to be an embarrassment to him. He knows that his former sparring partner, Jimmy Ellis, fought his best fight against Oscar, cleanly won the decision against him in Louisville, floored Oscar twice, once in the fourth and once in the tenth round, as I remember it. Look at that. Did you see Oscar try and start to bring his right arm up? Oh, a good right by Ali. After a quick short left, a good right. Oh, the left, the right, the left, and again the right. Ali holding on a bevy of blows by Bonavina. Bonavina coming on. 40 seconds left, and the countdown begins for round 11. That left did not hurt. It reached but did not hurt. That left of Ali's was against Bonavina's club. Another left by Bonavina, but that one didn't really hit either. There is blood out of Bonavina's left nostril. The round is running out. Ali appears to be the tired one. And that's the end of round 11. Yancey Durham, come in here as again we go to Ali's corner with Bundini now actually pleading with Ali. Play is a tied fight at this point. And as I told you before, Bonavino will get stronger. 
And uh, that is exactly what he's doing. Players are worried, but they're doing everything they can to survive this fight. I don't know if he will be able to continue this fight the way he's looking now. His mouth is open, his, his diaphragm is rather hard here, and they're doing everything they possibly can to survive this fight. I think you state the fact. An astonishing turn of events here tonight. Six to one underdog. Supposedly too slow, too clumsy. Supposedly a sitting duck. For Muhammad Ali has been anything but. It is a close, tough fight. I still rate it close in the scoring. I take it you do, Yancey, of course. Yes, it's very close at this point. Round 12. And Oscar comes out strongly. Well, Ringo's in the same boat now as Ali in one sense. His prediction failed, too. He had said round 11. Ali had said round 9. the referee breaking the fighters steady veteran referee in good control of this fight tonight quick to call the slips you'll remember quick to issue warnings on low punches and pushes always keeps his position on the fighters which is the key thing so no undue damage can come to either fighter A $10 million gate in the offer, or gross, that is, for an Ali Frazier fight. Frazier's manager sitting next to this reporter. Frazier watching on television in Monticello. I wonder what impact what we're seeing now will have on that projected contest. can't make out, frankly, what the crowd is yelling in the background. We're coming up to the two-minute mark in round 12. Scheduled 15-rounder, as you know. Ali, Red Trunks, Onavina Blue. Action lagging in this round. get excited about that first left of Oscars. Did nothing. Nor did the second. Nor did that one. Missed. Rude Brown Bundini's voice in the background. Giving Ali the Sugar Ray comparison. Hanging on as the round ends. Round 12 is over. Ringo had lost his mouthpiece, as you saw. And the crowd is restive. Some of them booing Muhammad. There's Ringo in his corner. He's putting up some fight. The question one would think for all of the people is, and this was the question we posed, Yancey, you'll remember at the start of the fight. How much of Ali is there now of the fighter that once there was? How much could there be after four years? How much would have to go out of it? Well, Howard, the guy has fought, he's fighting a real tough guy. This is a real animal he's in there with. And uh, this fight here is actually proven just what Cassius Clay have. As I predict, it would be a hell of a fight. Bonavina on his feet before the round even starts to show Ali what his strength is. Ali still on his stool up now, as you just saw. But Bonavina exuding a physical confidence that must be apparent to Ali. 
just an astonishing fight, really. Not a classical fight in the sense of fistic greatness, but astonishing in the trend of events. cannot say that he has been impressed. Vicious. That's Bundini and the other words you may be hearing in the background, birthday Sugar Ray. Ali often called a heavyweight Sugar Ray in the old days. We're coming up to the two minute mark in this round. It's round 13. And wearily the rounds run out. Birthday Sugar Ray. I want to stress again how much of this fight has been fought in ring center. How relatively stationary as this round runs out, the second stick away, Ali has been. All right, end of round 13, let's go to Muhammad's corner. Now the crowd has really turned on him. Now in slow-mo, let's watch Oscar as he seeks to score against Muhammad. There's a left, and right goes into Muhammad. That one, as you can see, did not really connect. There's a left, and Muhammad seeking to hold on, which he has done reasonably often, as you've noticed. Can't see as we await the start of round 14. How have you got the fight scored? Well, I still have in my head. I give Gray ahead of Bonaparte. He's got one round ahead of Bonaparte at this point. One man. round ahead in this, at this point in your, right. your score. All right. Nancy Durham scoring has Ali one round ahead. Come on. Strictly unofficial, you understand. Two judges and referee Mark Dunn will be doing the voting on a rounds basis. With a supplemental point scoring system, should rounds be even.
become insistent here at Madison Square Garden as we're a minute and just about 15 seconds into round 14. I guess you can still hear Drew Brown Bundini. As you could see, there was no trace of a knockdown there, anything of the sort. with everything he's got. But everybody will have to assess after this fight for themselves is what the lost years have taken from him. And yet one can take no credit away from Oscar Ringo Bonavina. Tough cookie who gave Joe Frazier his two toughest fights. Well, less than a half minute to the end of this round, round 14. And in the relative absence of action, the attitude of the viewers here in Madison Square Garden, I think, can be plainly heard. So round 14 ends. Now the dissatisfaction of the crowd becomes the paramount noise here in the arena and story, I guess, because it bespeaks the way this fight has gone. Yancey Durham, come in if you will. Let's review your score. Well, Howard, I mean, uh, I still have in my head in points, but if Bonavina can win this round, it'll be a very tough fight to judge. All Just right. Playable. Now, if Ali should win this fight by a decision, Yancey, will his performance tonight affect a potential fight against your man, Frazier? No. Howard, I think this is the fight that the public want to see, and I'm glad to see him, if he wins this fight, go to 15 round. I think it'll put him in good condition, and I hope that we can get together with this fight. February? I hope we can get together in February. All right. Yancey Durham, Joe Frazier's manager. Last scheduled round, round 15. If Ali gets the decision, it'll be interesting to hear what he has to say in ring center after the bout. He showed signs of becoming the old clay in the past week with the prediction, with the rhyme. saw Oscar at his wildest there missing falling off balance but there was no Ali to take advantage of there was no speed left there was no no movement left jump in and take advantage of an off balance unprotected man seconds into the final round. One thirty left in the fight. Oh, that left floored him. It came from nowhere. Ali came through with a left. The crowd screaming. The first knockdown of the fight. He took the mandatory eight. And now Ali is behaving like the old Ali. One more knockdown in this round. The fight is automatically over. Bonavina is running. If he goes down again, it's over. Ali is the knockout winner. 
at two minutes and three seconds by my unofficial clock of the final round. It began with a left. I'm going up to ring center. I'm here in the corner of the ring with Angelo Dundee, Drew Brown Bundini hugging Muhammad Ali and a tired but victorious Ali talking. Muhammad, could I get you to just face that camera? Now first, wait, you found Bonavina much tougher than you expected, obviously, didn't yes, you? Yes, uh, the layoff bothered me. Uh, I showed up, I missed a lot of punches, but I'm glad to win 15, the word was I didn't have no stamina. I think I showed more than he did. And Joe Frazier couldn't stop him. He was really out. And uh, now we have a chance to see who the real champion of the world is. So uh, I'm feeling good and I'm glad that I had the work. And I'm glad to know that I have a punch. As they say, I don't have. And I think he's never been stopped, right? Never been stopped. Yippee. No, he had never been knocked down until this fight. But in truth, I want to bring in Angie. <laughs> Angie, you didn't know what was wrong with Muhammad Midway. There was nothing wrong with him. He needed to work. That's why I said I hope we had a few more rounds with Quarry. So he got to work tonight, which is beautiful. So he got a little wet tonight, which is great. So I was very happy with everything. All right. Muhammad, you know that you're a slower fighter tonight, don't you? What you say? You know that you didn't have the old speed tonight. Do you feel well, it was just to set you up for the Frazier well, I'd like fight. to say I don't have no marks. Joe Frazier's face uh, was a little more marked than mine. Uh, I never really, I got tagged once. I found out that I could take a punch if they say I All didn't. Right. Muhammad, I want you to look at that monitor right down there. We're going to rerun this knockout round. The 15th round, watch this, say, you call it. I want to say first how it that I must give praise and thanks to Almighty God, Allah, because uh, he was a little better than I thought he was. He was on me. Uh, now, as you see, I hit him with a left hook. If we watch it, we'll see a solid left hook, I think I tagged him That's with. That's right. It was the left that first put him down. Let's solid hook, and he was really down. I get a big satisfaction out of this because critics say I can't hit. And uh, there you go. Okay, now stay right on it, Muhammad. When he got up, I knew he was dazed. I had to stay on him. So I tagged him, I think, with a solid right hand after this. Boom, there you go, another hook. That's when you lifted up your arms, you knew you had him. Now watch this third one. That's another hook, another hook. Sell Joe Frazier to be cool, cause he ain't no fool. <laughs> he, I've been to the boxing school. All right, there it was. We may Yank get it Durham. again in slow now motion. Yank Durham down there agitating Joe Frazier. Yank Durham is down there, but he's scared. Watch this in slow motion, uh, I'm going to say to Joe out there, stay in shape, Joe. Look like we're going to settle this whole heavyweight mess. I'll be in better shape when I meet Joe. I needed this workout. You think you'll be faster Joe, against Joe? Joe was a little too frightened to talk about me after this fight, but I'll talk about him. All right, now let's take a look at the second knockdown in slow motion, Muhammad. It'll be coming up in just a second. All right, you hold this mic. You hold this mic right here. Now you call that round while I talk to Joe Frazier on the telephone. I got Joe right here on Tell the Joe here's a man, he's knocking out these light heavyweights. You tell Joe here's a good heavyweight knockout here. Hello, Joe. Say hello to Salama Hassan out there in hello, Detroit. Joe. Good friend of mine. Wait a minute. Hello to Major Coxon out there in Philadelphia. What do you think of what Muhammad is saying on television? As we watch the third knockdown, he says that you're afraid of him, that he knocked out well, Bonavina and you couldn't. What do you say? Joe Frazier's on the telephone and Howard Cosell's agitating as usual. Well, the phone, of course, is not on the air, Muhammad, and Joe says he's more than ready for you. 
Anytime you fellas fight, he says he's going to go after you and put you away, even though Bonavina couldn't. Tell him if he do, he's a good one. So look like we don't have to talk no more. Hold um, on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, Joe. I'm going to put Muhammad on. Now on the telephone, you repeat what Joe says oh, to you. How you doing, Joe? You're not frightened of me, are you? What's he saying, Muhammad? Pablo Cosell is agitating as usual. <laughs> I think you'd improve yourself as a professional fighter. I'd improve myself, so I'll get him a couple of days rest. And since we can't get a loan, we just gonna have to get it on. What is Joe saying? Our our viewers can't hear. I haven't heard Joe. Uh, Joe said he's ready to get it on. And uh, if everybody can agree to the deals, then we will settle all this talk. We will find out once and for all who's the real champion of the whole world. No homemade champ, no ink pen champion, but the fighting champion. Okay. So they took my title once, gave it to Ernie Terrell, I took it back. They took it again, so it looked like I have to fight for the title three times without losing it. If I have to do that, I'm gonna still keep it. Thank you. Okay, so long, Joe. I'm sorry you couldn't hear Joe Frazier. Don't go away. Now here's the knockout. Mohammed, last time the knockout on isolated camera. Call it, then we'll let you go. Well, here comes a left hook. I knew he was a little tired. I was a little tired. But mainly I was concentrating. This is where a good boxer comes in handy. He was the toughest the he ever fought, wasn't he? Uh, up until now, I've been off so long and training hard. Ringo's right here, he's coming in. Hammer right, hammer right. I think I tagged him. Here comes Ringo, by the way. Ringo's coming over to congratulate you. Keep looking at the monitor. I like to say. Hello, Ringo. Good. Fight. I like to say to Ringo, Good he's a fight. nice fella. I Even as we things, watch. I want to say the things he said about me and I said about him was only to build a fight because it is a dying sport. And I want to thank him as a gentleman. I'm sorry because I tell you, Chicky, you're a better champion. Oh, thank you. you know what he said? I like you. Just I talk. Tell you, just talk. Thank I you. told Chicky because you're oh, nervous. You said so. Just talk. Fight it, fight it. Fight it, fight it. you champion. I understand what he said. Thank you. I, I hope you can understand right. what Ringo was saying. Nice time. He you. said, I'm sorry I called you chicken. You are a great champion, and, I and you can see you. the scene and now. And I want to say he's my roughest fight today. Okay. You champion. That does it. I'm sorry. Go praise your Oscar said I'm champion, so watch yourself. You watch don't have it, to, watch it. You don't Just have to it. apologize. Watch it. You, you win, you praise it, because you better. You boxing him very well. Ringo is saying Go. Ali will Maybe beat Frazier, win, but that's because gonna have to be me. proved in you the ring. Thank you. Because I spoke strong to Frazier. Thank you. You understand? Thank you. I love you, Oscar. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right, now one last look at the isolated camera in the midst of this chaos in Bedlam. Mohammed. Mohammed, look down at that monitor. Call that. Uh, left hook, I think, here. Call that now. Bonavina's telling the people I whooped Frazier because he's strong with Frazier. Bonavina said I whooped Joe Frazier because he's strong with Joe Frazier. And he is right. Thank you. Thank you, Oscar. All right. We're in the midst of Bedlam, even as we watch the knockout again on isolated camera. You have seen the scene for yourselves. The crowd trying to pour up into this ring. Oscar going down there. This will be our final look at this knockout. Thank you. All right, Ringo you champion. Thank you. Watch this, Ringo. There you are, down. And that's Muhammad. That was the fight. second left down. Tavasco's so, so a good fighter. I couldn't hit him with my left jab. Okay. Okay. And now we come to the end. Okay. There it is, the final left tuck. And that was the knockdown. I have one thing to say, and I got to go. Okay. Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier. Okay. Joe Frazier. Just be it, Joe Frazier. All right. Cry, 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 beat it, Joe Frazier. Cry, cry, beat it. He's beat it, Frazier. Ringo, as you can see, is screaming at the fans that Ali will beat Frazier. That Shoot. remains for another Ali. day. Ringo, you fought a great fight. Too much. My congratulations to you, even though you lost. Yes. Cash now, cry. ladies and gentlemen. This is a goodbye from Madison Square Garden. On the ropes of the ring, at almost the very point where Muhammad Ali knocked out 
Oscar Ringo Bonavena in a little more than two minutes of the 15th and final round.